My name is Penny Plath. I'm a horror fiction writer. It's been a year since my first book was published, and my second one is around the corner. I guess I'm living my dream. Really, up until recently, I had been single-mindedly chasing that dream. But now that I'm not chasing it anymore, the unattended parts of my life are starting to creep up on me. And so, I had an unfortunate realization recently. I am... <gasps> a hopeless romantic. A hopeless romantic just waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, are you okay? Yeah, thanks for that. But I'm also... Okay, bye! Huh? A giant coward. I'm a coward by nature. But even if I wasn't, my love life is complicated by the fact that I'm trans. With all the laws and fear-mongering, who knows what's going on inside people's heads. And if I want to date someone, I'd have to come out to them at some point. <sighs> Scary. I bet you're thinking, what's the worst that could happen? Well... I'm transphobic! Barf! <sighs> Or worse... I'm transphobic and also a serial killer! <laughs> That's okay. I should just be happy with what I have. No need to dream of more. Hello? Code Red! <laughs> okay, Dolly, what's the Code Red that couldn't be said over the phone? Does it need to be a Code Red just to talk? I just missed you. It's been a while. But also, I got the D. I'm very happy for you and your D. And... I'm sorry I've been AWOL. I was working on the book. This is actually the advanced reader copy I was going to- Okay, okay, no need to brag, Miss Big Shot. It's not cool to flaunt things, you know. Weren't you just flaunting your D in my face? Penny, I'm talking about my life here. It's not like you couldn't get the D if you wanted to. I have the D. That's the problem. You know it's hard for me to date being trans. Besides, I like girls. Are you sure it's not because you're an insect? It's because I'm trans. But my Zumba friend is trans, and she's always gonna Oh, go. shut up! I'm just saying. Have you put yourself out there at all? Have you tried any dating apps? I've tried. No luck. People just don't respond. Since I'm trans and gay, my potential dating pool is smaller than yours. It isn't that easy. Besides, I want a real connection. Something spontaneous. Something that happens out in the real world. Cool. Have you approached anyone like that? No, much too scary. Why would I put myself at risk for rejection, public humiliation, or worse? You know, for someone who writes scary stuff, you're a real wimp. Yeah, it might be harder for you, but if you want it, you have to try. Look behind me. <laughs> She's cute, alone, and keeps looking over here. Wanna try smiling at her? Fine, if it'll get you off my back. Here I go. See? Oh, what was me born with this face? Maybe we need to work on your smile so that you don't look like a mobster about to extort her. I hate this. Why can't a natural, organic connection fall into my lap without me doing any work? Life isn't fair. And also, where's the waitress? Hello. Sorry about the wait. Oh! If it isn't... My hero. Oh, hello. We'll just have two waters for now, please, and your number. Shut the fuck up! Sure, coming right up. My hero? Spicy. Look at you, all flustered. That woman, I caught her as she fell earlier, right before you called me. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like a rom-com and you're the star! People like me can't star in rom-coms. All I know is suffering. Can you not? I think she's into you. This is that opportunity you were waiting for, sis. You have to seize the day. Carpe diem! <laughs> hey, don't be a wuss! Sometimes it takes courage to know when to retreat. Girl, come on. My book! I'll be right back. Get her number. Forget something? Here. I'm Nicole, by the way. I'm Penny. Oh, fuck. What do I say now? Does she know? Should she know? And will she reject- Hey, I don't know if this is random, but do you want to grab a drink sometime? I want to pay you back for saving me earlier. Oh. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, that sounds nice. Great! 
Fuck, fuck. This was a mistake. Oh, my stomach hurts. Why did I have six Hot Pockets for lunch? Can you relax? I'm trying to do your eyeliner. But what if it doesn't go well? What if I'm not her expectation of a lady? What if I end up looking like a fool? That's not going to happen. Dates are for people to get to know you. You're normal and nice. If she doesn't like it, she can kick rocks and move on. You should just show her who you are. Show her who I am? How terrifying. That's life, baby. If you want to connect with someone, this is how it goes, sis. You'll never know if you don't try. Love is love. Yeah. Am I worrying for nothing? I would be devastated if someone changed their mind once they knew the truth. I want to be loved for who I am without fear. Is that so much to ask? <sighs> okay. Just be yourself. Hey! This is... fun. M maybe this could work. But when will the other shoe drop? <laughs> what will she do when I tell her? If I tell her? Is she just being polite? I don't know. M maybe she could... So, Penny, why do you write scary books? Where did that come from? I don't know. Just curious. Your book is kind of the reason I got to ask you out, after all. <laughs> hmm. I guess I've always been an anxious person. And I think about things that scare me a lot. Those things get bottled up in my head. And writing is a way for me to release them a little. I tried writing other things, but... It was most natural for me to write about horrible things happening. What about good things? Good things, huh? Would that make an entertaining story? I guess I don't think about things going well very often. Well, what about the date? What if it's a trick? Is it going well? Uh, yes, I, I think so. What if she's lying? What if, 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 <laughs> I saw the title of your book before I returned it and looked you up. You're cute, but I had to make sure you weren't a weirdo or serial killer. <laughs> oh. This kind of feels like a cop-out since you already knew and stuff. Well, I mean, it's still scary. I could have been an asshole. And you did it anyways. I'd say that takes guts. Me? Guts? But I... I haven't dated a trans person before, so I don't know if that would be weird to you. I haven't dated since I came out, so it'll be new for both of us. It's scary, but maybe something good can come of it. Can I kiss you? Mm-hmm. Mm. My name is Penny, and maybe romance isn't hopeless for me after all. <laughs>